Yo, everybody, it's me, it's Maddie, and welcome to another My Singing Monsters Showcase. Today, I'm going to be showcasing all the monsters that live on an island I've created called Boogie Land, in case you couldn't read it. This guy right here, that's the boogeyman, and he is kind of the, the I don't know, the, the big shot, the leader, the man behind Boogie Land. The man child! Yep, that's Joey. And so I've posted pretty much everything there is to say about Boogie Land, so I'm just going to be reading my posts. Uh, okay. The whole deal is that there was an unfortunate but beautiful meteor shower. One of them was thrown off course and went flying into a box, splitting him into pieces. A strange man who happened to be at the place at the... Who happened to be at the place... What the, the site. A strange man who happened to be... At the place, at the time, took these pieces and started building his own monsters. Who are they? They're the Wubbas! It's like the Wublins, but they're they're not. All jokes aside, I... Hang on. It's, 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 uh, okay, so... I have some script for the tutorial, which explains the main mechanic of the island. You meet the boogeyman in his market, and he says... <laughs> Welcome to my market. Here you can buy all sorts of junk I've found throughout my universal escapades. Just kidding, I found all this lying around. What'll it be? You buy something for coins. Whoa there, you really think you can pay me in coins? I got this stuff from the black market so I can put it in my own black market. Huh. Maybe that for free, but it'll cost diamonds from now on. You can use my junk to build up some new monsters on my island. I call it Boogie Land. <laughs> Let's go visit uh, my... Uh, uh. Yeah, uh -huh. Let's go visit... Uh, uh. Stop it! You can let's go visit my workshop so you can actually get something done. Here's some prints I made. It says it requires insert ingredients here. Back to the market. So you want my stuff? It'll cost you. Got any diamonds? So yeah, you gotta buy a bunch of stuff for diamonds. You gotta buy parts to build the wubbas, and those cost diamonds. So if you don't have enough diamonds for something, he says, Ah, well, come back later when you can actually buy something. And if you do have enough diamonds, he just says, Gimme. Now you have enough stuff to build a thing. Let's do it. In the workshop, you hit a build button to finish your new monster. There you have it. If you want more monsters here, you're going to have to give me more of your money and build more stuff. And then the tutorial is over. So here is a list of parts you can buy. You can buy an eye, a mouth, an ore piece, a disc piece, a core, arm, hand, torso piece, foot piece, or a stockpile, which is basically just a bunch of random parts. So the whole deal with the stockpile is that it's expensive, but it gives you different parts. Different parts each time, but not just one part and not one of each part. There's a chance you get some good stuff or something useless. It's a gamble. So a few natural monsters like Mammoth, Toejammer, Riff, and Bright, and Shelby are available and can be teleported to Boogie Land at level 18. The island would be unlocked at level 25, and there's an unlimited amount of beds on the island. <laughs> The song, unlike most, if not all, songs in both My Singing Monsters and My Singing Monsters Dawn of Fire, would be a techno song. Parts you don't want can be sold, but you get plenty of coins in return rather than diamonds, because that would be too easy. Wait, say that again. Mr. Smith? Yes, Joey? Um, so is it like a crafting system? Yes. Cool! That's actually pretty neat. Okay, so this is the first monster on Boogie Land. It's called Kick Sub. So I don't really have much to say about him other than the fact that I really like making cycloptic monsters. There's something about the symmetry that I just enjoy. The first three wubbas I made were all cycloptic, but I gave one of them another weirdly placed eye, so now we're okay. Joey, I'm, I'm trying to record here. I'm trying to be quiet. So his song is, his hands spring out and punch the ground, producing a low but hard-hitting beat. When they retract, they make a techno cymbal sound. He could also jump up and retract his stand, making a louder cymbal noise. So, you might be saying, this guy looks like Wubox. That's the point. He's supposed to look like he's made of different Wubox parts, in case you haven't gotten the memo yet. So, the bio. Kicksub was the first creation built by the marvelous virtuoso we've come to know as the Boogeyman. While their sound is quite different, Kicksub has all the bells and whistles you could need. Blinking lights, a solid torso, springing arms, and an adjustable stand. But their personality, contrary to their sound, does not resonate very much. They're very shy. So, requirements. One eye, one mouth, one orb piece. Uh, wait, where'd the orb come from? Probably this. Three disc pieces. Uh, one core. Every wubba needs a core. It's their power source. Two arms, two hands, and two torso pieces. Because they've got one big body. Which comes to a grand total of 221 diamonds, so they're going to be pretty expensive. And 221, 
That's probably the second cheapest Wubba you'd find. So here's a little fun fact. Originally, the pieces for each price, the, oh, the, the prices for each piece were much higher, but I knew that would just be plain unfair and much too costly, so I docked the prices down a bit for each piece. But that doesn't matter. So I'm not going to tell you what the prices are. So Joey just said I sound like the chief of an au auction. So here's Wadro Boss. He makes a wobble bass sound. I originally wanted to make a fish that that sound. Hang on, what the? I originally wanted to make a fish that makes a bass sound, so it would be a wobble bass, but I didn't. I might make the design for funsies though. So the song is just Bwah! wobble bass. Bio. The Wajo Boss is a monster that possesses a literally that okay that possesses literally endless energy. Seriously, cores are a highly underappreciated power source. They use their power to make quick chattering sounds along with very very loud blahs. Wajo Boss has no understanding of the concept of quiet. On the non-derogatory note, this fellow uses its spherical feet like wheels flying throughout Boogie Land, which is just metaphorical because Wajo Boss can't fly. Acquirements. Uh. One mouth, eight orbs, four discs, four torso pieces, and one core, which comes to a total of 291 diamonds. Kiss your cash goodbye. Factoid. Wadra Boss lets the critters of Boogie Land ride on its back as if it was a car. The four orbs on its front. These things. They act as headlights, not eyes. Next up is Chipto. He's probably one of my favorites, so I have an equal amount of love that I share throughout each Wubba. He just has a sound I like more, so it's... Techno 8-bit sounds, you know, like bleep bloop, that kind of, that sort of thing. Bio. Chipto has a love for all things retro. They're a major oldie. Wait, is this even... Okay, they're a major oldie. Their sound is highly futuristic compared to the other monsters, but to the Wubba's, it's rudimentary. Chipto doesn't care because that's just their style. They call it Ancient Bebop to show their love for both the past and the future. They're basically a, a robot hipster. Hey, Maddie. Yes? So there's Ancient Bebop, right? Yeah. Is there also Cowboy Bebop? <laughs> That's an anime. I know. Okay. That makes Jackson very happy. Requirements. One eye, one mouth, three orbs, seven discs, two hands, two arms, two feet, and a core. Coming to a total of 275 diamonds. Cha freaking ching. Factoid. Chipto would love to see the future with Rare Wellbox, but is too nervous to do so. That's the reason why they don't do lots of things. Next up is Thysazor, who is probably the most forgettable of the Wubbas. Uh, hang on, I need my, I need that garage just here. Okay, so, um, uh, his, I don't have much to say. Um, song. The eyes light up, producing a synthesizer sound. I thought it would be, I thought it would blend well with Kickstub's percussion, Wadraboss's blahs, and Shipto's 8-bit boops. Like Boogie Land. Thank you. Boogie Land is, it's a techno song. Bio. This Azor has two independently moving eyes, which is a feature the Boogeyman included with inspiration from the Kazillion, which would imply that he's, you know, traveled throughout the multiverse. But a catch is that the This Azor tends to gravitate towards whatever it looks at, which leads to chronic dizziness and spinning, in that order. Requirements. Two eyes, three orbs, six discs, one core, two arms, two hands, and one torso piece, coming to a T.O. toll of 285 diamonds. Money-related pickup line, please. Factoid. This Azor may have two separate personalities caused by a broken core being used as its power source. Each personality could control each eye, which would, which would explain their constantly diverting attention. Next up is Zar, who is probably the coolest Wubba. Um, I thought of plenty of different designs, so uh, I think I'll show the concept art first, actually. So this is all the concept art for Zar. So this is the first one. So his instrument is supposed to be a laser harp, and that's like a little machine that projects lasers up to your ceiling. And if you put your hand through it, it does like a little wee thing. It's like you put your hand through a laser and it makes some noise. So this would resemble the machine that goes on the bottom, the top part, and then these little orbs are what goes through the laser, which would make a sound. And so I just uh tried a different design for this one showing the core outside at the top and then um i guess these these five lasers they all look like electricity they're not just supposed to be dip perfect lasers so i was like okay what if i did something different with hands up here and that's that was pretty much it for that concept these are all pretty weird and so this was the next one i made that's also meant to be <coughs> Excuse me, more based on the actual laser harp. <coughs> and then there's this one, which is just completely different. We got the core up here, projecting electricity down here with these two orbs. 
that are meant to be going through each lightning bolt, which produces lasers. Then I'm like, okay, these all look like garbage, so I made this one. The good one right here. This guy oh. down in the corner. He's just like, I'm okay, everything's alright. And so, that's the Zarp concept art. Oh, this was an octagon type thing, because I saw a really cool looking laser heart. It looked like an octagon, so I'm like, what if I did that? But it looks like garbage. <laughs> So this is what Zarb actually look like. Look, uh, uh, looks like. What? His song is the discs move around and the electricity produced, but produced, produced by Zarb's horns, which makes the sound of a laser harp. A sound I've used many times on many of my monsters. I know, along with some singing, woos, wees, was, do's, and does. Huh. His bio: the uh, the Zarp is constantly trying to think of new ways to toy with the element of electricity. They use it to power machines, put on light shows, and even to produce music and augment their voices. Zarp would be about as rad a DJ as they get if there wasn't an undetermined chance of them zapping whatever they touch. So, um, requirements. Two eyes, one mouth, four orbs, 13 discs, one core, two arms, two hands, and two feet. So, this is probably going to be one of the most expensive Wubba's, which is why they have two sounds. So, it's like a little bit more worth it. So... It's 427 diamonds in total. You got to stash up those discs or get some stockpiles, dude. By the way, if you really want to know how much each part costs, check out my 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 singing Masters Amino page. It's like really in depth on the original Boogie Land blog. Sponsor yourself. I'm not sponsoring myself. It's just a shameless plug. So factoid, Zarp's horns can be used as a magnet, although there is a random chance that whatever comes to them will be shot away after an electric explosion. The boogeyman has yet to find the perfect way to contain a Wubox core's intense electric power. Life and make the showcase. And then, <laughs> Joe, yeah, Joey just said, stop wasting your life and make the showcase. So this is Mambaba, the sixth Wubba. I knew I needed a singer for Boogie Land, so here's Mambaba, a singer. I, I think I have a bit of concept art for them, so I'm going to look for it. Yeah, this is this is the uh dis disregard this cage analogy. Uh this box is not important. So this is all the concept art for Mumbaba. I I knew straight away that he was gonna have a pretty lazy personality, because like what if the core just didn't produce quite enough electricity? Because like, oh it was just, just like a little baby core. And so just like, all the time. I also like to give my monsters a lot of different quirky personalities, so I'm like, what if I made a lazy character? So here's the first one, he just kinda like <sighs> My muffins are burning. And so what? I was I'm just like, what if I gave him one leg? But then I'm like, OK, so far, all of the all of the Wubba's either have one leg or they float, except for Zarp. So I before I realized that I kept the two arms and floaty motif going, kind of making it look a little bit more sparky to allude to his insufficient electricity production. Then Is I'm like, fun? what? Sparky. No, it was like it was now. No, it's like actual sparks well i'm just saying it sounded like a pun because they're made of lightning yes yeah, no but they are made of lightning so it's tell just, me this, you tell me you're getting this i mean yeah uh, awesome so yeah when i made the second piece of concept art i had yet to realize okay all the wubbas look like this so i made one with arms and legs and he looks like this and i'm like perfect good golden so i went with something very similar to that Although I think I toned down all the swirls because like we got a swirl here, swirl there, which would have implied a swirl on the other side. And then we got a forehead swirl. So, geez, that's a lot of swirls. So, turns out I didn't actually tone down any swirlage. <laughs> so, this is Mambaba. He's the biggest Wubba. Probably like a 3x3 three three or a 4x4. Four four. Four, four so, monsters exist? No. But, I mean, this, this guy was built, so anything's possible, Joey. If you just put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Like smoking 34 pounds of weed in four days. Um, his, his song. Soft but not quiet beatboxing and mumbling. Some mumbling has vocals, which are pretty deep. Bio. Across Boogie Land, Mambaba is known as the lazy one. It's not that there's a lack of motivation. Mambaba cares deeply about performing well. It's just because that the piece of the core used to power this web is rather insufficient. There's not much energy to go around with old Mumby. It leads to a lazy attitude, but a relaxed persona. Requirements. Two eyes, a mouth, five discs, a core, three hands. Yeah, three hands. No, three arms, actually. Because it was horns and the arm on the wall box is spiky. So, three arms, two hands, uh, three torso pieces, and two foots. 
feet. As a professional dipweed, I'm contractually obligated to list the total price for every Wubba. This one is 319 diamonds. Factoid, Mbaba's favorite allegiantly activity is in-depth ground examining because he doesn't freaking do anything. And then this is Wawuza, the Wubba that looks like freaking SpongeBob. Okay, why is it why isn't my scripts loading? Crud. Alright. <laughs> Stop burping, please. So this is the last Wubba. His song is singing and an occasional eye glow, which which provides a deep synthesizer sound. So just like, whop. Bio. While an arm being used to build a head isn't the most ideal of ideas, the infamous boogeyman made it work in the form of Wawuza. It doesn't have the best walking skills, though, as its big head causes it to wobble around a lot on its spindly legs. <sighs> Most of the Wubbas mistake this walk cycle for radical dance moves, though, so Wawuza has recently decided to incorporate this into its daily performance. So, he'd be one of the more jumpy fellas, contrary to Mum... Uh, what was it? Mumbaba? Is that his name? Is it Mambaba? I think it is. I think. Uh, Wawuza's requirements are three eyes, one mouth, one orb, three disc pieces, uh, one core, one arm, and two hands, which comes to 181 diamonds, so he is the cheapest Waba, actually. Um, so th they'd probably be the first one you get in the tutorial. Factoid, Wawuza has made its own dancing style. It's like a combination of break dancing and ballet and is often practicing this when it's not singing, which I guess it can pretty much do by walking around to avoid becoming a total laughing stock throughout, throughout Boogie Land. So, uh, no, I feel like I'm going to vomit. And so that's going to do it for this My Singing Monsters showcase that has to do with, holy crud, an entire island that doesn't have a design. So fun fact... The island that all of the Wubbas live on, which is called Boogie Land, uh, the Boogeyman built it. So he built the island, and then he built a bunch of monsters. What? I didn't tell you that the Boogeyman built Boogie Land? You didn't tell me he built a freaking island? He did. He... Is it flying? No. Oh. Well, I mean, it could be. Because he's supposed to be a super awesome virtuoso, an inventor. So it's probably going to be flying, actually. It's just going to be like a giant Wubox face on it. Uh, yeah, I'm done with the video, so you can take your phone back. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.